You didn't miss nothing. These three were killed by this guy. He was killed by some black guys for his F-150. She was beaten to death by this black guy. She was killed by some black, two black teens in ski masks. And he was killed by some troubled youths. Everybody caught up? <laughs> Press one if you caught up, man. Press one if you caught up, man. This is just January, man. This white kid right here, he was jock, he, he was killed by Jacquez Barris Tylee Anderson Savage. Never trust a black man with five names, man. Damn, Garrett. Garrett Edward White. You never trust a white guy with three names, man. John Wilkes Booth, Lee Harvey Oswald. You can't trust a white guy with three names. But whatever you do, you don't trust a black guy with five names. Jaquez, Barris, Ty Lee, Anderson, Savage. The shooting was as a result of an argument between the two. 45-year-old Shannon Mansfield was fatally shot in New Madrid, Missouri by Sean Dale Maxwell, man. Damn, Sean Dale. Seth Chadville. Looks like a nice kid. Nice smile, man. It's fatally shot in New Orleans. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes, man. Damn. Woo! What? Talk about a motley crew, man. Um, He's accused of shooting Chadville and two others while driving past a gasoline station. He was driving past the gasoline station. This guy was doing motorcycle stunts. This guy just drove by and shot them. Um, woo! Yeah, man. I'm sure you're going to see this everywhere on YouTube, man. Thank you guys for viewing this here, man, because you can get this anywhere, man. But I thank you guys for watching this content here, man. There's so many places you can get this um, report of all these white people that were killed by black people the la um, last couple of months, man. I really appreciate you guys watching this content here because you can get this anywhere, man. Um, let's see. Um, let's see. Uh, I think I think I think we got 250 likes, right? We got 250, 241. Nine more likes, guys. Nine more likes. Yeah, man.
Let's continue, man. Um, woo! Yikes. Seventy-seven-year-old Mary Sims. She was killed in Indianapolis, man, by eighteen-year-old Zakai Dawson, man. Now, this would have been a lynching a hundred years ago. This is what percentage of the lynchings do you think? I mean, we've done we've done a lot of research on this channel and the lynchings, man. What percentage of the lynches do you think were because of this? As opposed to, you know, white people was just bored and were looking for some black guy to kill. What percentage of the lynchings back in the Jim Crow days was because of stuff like this? Mossy in the building, man. What's up, Hawk? What's happening, man? Do some laundry. How, how you doing? Oh, ain't nothing, man. Ain't nothing, man. Um, just, just um, reporting the um black on white murders from the last couple of months. You know, nothing much. Um, let's see. Um, so she was, she was killed by this guy, man. Um, yikes. Sims family reportedly said Dawson was a family friend who they initially had allowed to stay at the home. Dawson was a family friend who they initially had allowed to stay at the home. He was apparently angered that he was no longer welcome at the home. <sighs> It's just as bad as kicking them out. And they asked him to leave. What were they thinking? Well, he was a family friend, so I mean, yeah, I mean, I guess. It's <clears throat> probably why they kicked him out. He's probably acting crazy. Nah, man. Um, that's not how it works with black people. This is no indication of how he was acting before, man. You know that, man. Black folk, we don't think like that, man. No, no, I'm just saying, but why Why didn't they kick him out? That's the question. What was he doing? Because he's black, man. They racist, man. Well, they don't sleep there. It was racist, man. They kicked him out, man. Yeah, but I have posed that question before. I, I don't endorse the concept of lynching in any way shape or form but i have posed that question to myself and others like how many of the lynchings were guys that you know when you look and watch the news you're like somebody should just kill that guy you know what i mean like how many of the lynchings were that i don't know i don't support lynching in any way but it's a good question there were only about four thousand i think in the country and i think about a thousand of those were white people Maybe the thousand five hundred. So, a good bit of white Republicans were lynched in the South. Yeah, there were there were people there were white men lynched. I mean, they don't like to talk about it. Of course, it wasn't in proportion, but a lot of them were Jews, whites, anybody that they the town was like, "Fuck this guy, we're gonna get him." Because as much as black people say they don't want cops, that's what happens when you have a sheriff in town and not enough security. <laughs> you know. Guys just kick the door down and do what they want. Court documents say the homeowner found 77-year-old Mary Sims unconscious in a locked bathroom with plastic around her head. Detectives also said Sims had cuts and abrasions on her body and she was in handcuffs. According to court documents, the detectives spoke with Dawson, who allegedly admitted he arrived at the home and said Mary was snoring. Court documents said Dawson didn't place Sims in handcuffs because he was worried she may wake up and bump her head or something. Dawson was also also allegedly admitted to wrapping Sims' head in plastic 
because he said he couldn't look at her. Yo, that was actually nice of this son, man, man. She's she's in there snoring and, you know, just throwing some handcuffs so she doesn't fall and bump her head while she's sleeping, man. I think we got this guy pegged all wrong, man. What do you think, new guy? I mean, I feel like I feel like we talked about it yesterday, right? Like there's there's just like uh like you said, having uh sons around gliders puts the gliders in like a almost like a racial like stewardship, you know? Where they're just like it's like babysitting almost. So like there's just there's there's no reason really to suspect that they were just like I mean the way they tell history in this country they want to make it seem that just a bunch of white men with like AK47s were just like marauding around black people 24/7 but no like really the opposite is true mo, 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 like people were segregated and they were for a reason right so like this yeah um so I, I listen I commend this son mad man I mean I, I now next time I see somebody snoring, I always wonder what you did when somebody was snoring. Um, how to how you could help them, man. <laughs> like, I had no idea you put um, throw them in some handcuffs and then put a plastic bag over their head. I mean, maybe like, it, it, it makes sense though when you think about it, though. Like, if you really think about it, it does make sense, it does help them stop snoring. Yeah, maybe he thought it was like a sleeping bag and he was just gonna tuck her in. And- just ended up killing her. It was too small. Um, Scott Cracky, 49, was shot during a road rage incident in Meridian, Connecticut. <laughs> this guy, corrections officer William Lucky, 32, was charged with gunning down an unarmed motorist during a senseless road rage incident and claims he acted in self-defense. Lucky allegedly pulled out a 9mm Glock and shot Cracky in the head and torso. Lucky then fled the scene, leaving the victim fatally wounded, firing as many as 18 rounds. God damn. Boom, 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 boom. That's what 18 rounds sound like. Yeah, but Dexter Reed got like 90, right? Or whatever his fucking name was. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, guy shouldn't have angered this guy, man. Hey, man. Um, let's see. What, oh, man. Christina Lynn Artus, man, 41. And one-year-old Kaylee Forsell. Oh, so her one-year-old were killed in Gonzales, Louisiana by... <laughs> Is that a, a, a Hebrew? Like Calvin and Forsell. Oh, this is the kid's father. Oh, okay. So the one-year-old, she had a baby with this guy, man. This is this is who she was fucking, man. This lady was fucking this guy. Hey, man. Cold told man. Yeah, isn't oh. the, I don't know if this is true or not, but I, I I read some stats somewhere that like the the sun man glider woman like divorce rate is like two times. Just the, you know, the baseline, which is just the glider, glider divorce rate. Yeah, definitely, man. He bagged Um, her and killed her? Yeah. Salute to Deluxe 247, a.k.a. Cal Ripken, coming through once again. What the hell? Actually, Auk, Auk, funnily enough, I think. He killed the baby, too. I I know. uh, the, the glider, the glider man, son, woman divorce is actually the least, I think, out of all the parents. I know, so, I know, I know. I know. So you you can marry successful. on that. Yeah, yeah, they're more success. They're the most successful parent, black women and white men, because they bed winches, man. They subservient the white massa, man. Um, yeah, must be. Yeah. Um, Personally, I think it's like it's kind of it just that combination is so damn rare that like even to have the combination probably means the two people really, really, really like each other. Yeah, or the it'd be interesting to see the, it. how the children are different too. I've wondered that if there is right, right, the father's white and the mother's black. Because the only thing I can think of is men tend to be more assertive, and they they probably get the kid out of the bullshit 
if the parents read them anything, but the type of black woman that a white man will eventually marry probably isn't even into all that bullshit anyway. 36-year-old Raven Thompson was fatally shot into her Tecumseh, Oklahoma home. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, Arrested was Orlando Osborne, 57, man. Um, incidents appears to have been domestic. Okay, so she was fucking this guy, man. Hey, man, cold told, man. Um, 86-year-old William Strain was fatally shot in Montgomery. Remember Montgomery? Remember the um on the what was that on the 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 the, the boat? <laughs> the brawl on the docks, man, <laughs> between the white and black people, man. Um but this won't get as much attention as that. He was killed by this guy, man. Anthony Talley, 45, killed this guy. So we got a couple of old gliders getting done in, man. Um is this the gun memorial? No, nah, this is this is this is the um white on black murders documented by uh the site uh. called V Dare. Um, please take the five dollar challenge, man. Um, support the channel, man. We bringing you content that. Listen, man. I, I know you don't get this nowhere else. I watch the same channels you watch, man. I'm subscribed to all the channels you subscribe to, man. They not touching this, man. They still want you to, you know. They still want to hold on to. It was a. It was a. It was a time when we were kings, man, and everything was all good. And all you need is a uh, God, or all we need is uh, we need to come together. Stiffer penalties, man. Uh, th there's no solution, man. We need Christianity again. That'll solve everything. There's no solution for this, man. If one black person gets killed by a white person, it's national news. It's national, even if that person is a cop trying to execute an arrest, it's national news. Well, it's All funny because these go unreported. You would never know these happened if you didn't subscribe to Op Nation. It's funny because the argument used to be, well, we're making these things national news because it's a police officer. But now you got that 81-year-old guy shooting the black woman and Rashad Richie bitching about it. It's like, dude, you know how much that happens in reverse, bro? <laughs> Holy shit, man. It's just anything. It's just white people. 52-year-old Curtis Butler was fatally shot in Bloomington, Indiana. 41-year-old transient woman Evelyn L. Kuhuliana, Ku, Kuhulilihani, she must be half um, Samoan or something, was arrested for felony murder. Reports said Kuhuliani shot into a tent at a homeless encampment, <laughs> causing Butler's death. The two had apparently been in an intimate relationship. Oh, Cole told me. Um, 73-year-old Charles Suddeth in Jackson, Mississippi, man. Yikes. Still white people in Jackson, Mississippi. He was killed by Robert Jackson, man. Jackson, he got killed in Jackson by Jackson. Uh, he was renovating an unoccupied home when he was shot. <laughs> man, you in there renting, you, you in there working and some sun turds comes in there and Fucking blows your brains out. Hey, sir, he, uh, you're not supposed to be any. Ah, oh, pow! Uh, <laughs> I guess he realized uh, the hard way why those houses were so cheap. Yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 54 year old Paul Christie was fairly shot in Boise, Air, Louisiana by this guy, man. <laughs> God, dog. Ugh. 29 year old guy, man. NASA employee, man. Um, reports say Christy was shot during an attempted robbery. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Jacob A. Carter was fatally shot while vacationing with his husband in New Orleans, man. LGBT community, stand up, man. 
A 16-year-old man has been arrested and booked. Leona Edwards was fatally shot in Princeton, West Virginia. <laughs> My man looked like he got a Humpty man, Humpty no, one of the Humpty, Humpty, <laughs> Humpty, Humpty used to wear his shit. Them noses, man. Um. Yeah, man. This is. That was she was shot multiple times while exiting her vehicle. Police believe Kellen was lying in wait for Edwards. She had recently filed domestic violence petition against Kellen, suggesting the two had been in an intimate relationship. Cole told 73-year-old Jeffrey Owens was fatally shot in Selmer, Tennessee, convenience store. Jacob Hill was charged with first degree murder. Damn, Jake, why'd you do it, man? That ain't Jake from State Farm, is it? I don't know. Um, reports say Owen was pushed and his hat snatched by Hill during an encounter at the store. Hill then retrieved the handgun from his vehicle and shot Owen. So he 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 assaulted this guy in a convenience store, then went to his car, got his gun, and came back and executed the guy in the store. It's too many black men in prison, man. Press one, man. <laughs> it's too many black men in prison, man. And, uh, you know, I, I just can't figure out why, man. But I do know that there's too many black men in prison, man. And we got to do something about it, man. Um, nah, nah, nah. I'm, 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 I only did 20. Last time I only did 20. There were 40 that month. I'm, I meant to do the whole thing. I didn't do the whole thing, so I'm just going back. Bill, man, Bill, man, this Bill got, Bill got killed, man. Everybody, R.I.P. to Bill, man, A.K.A. Gary Bishop, man, was fatally stabbed in Fresno by this guy, man. <laughs> uh. Brown was upset due to a disagreement between Bishop and his mother over a property that Brown stabbed Bishop in his upper body. 40-year-old Christine Marie Constantino was shortly shot in New York by Dietrich Emanuel. Mm. Dietrich need a brush, man. At least, at least, at least where he's going, man, they'll give you a free brush, man. Um, the suspect had 18 prior offenses, including violent felony. Reports say the victim shot was shot in the chest at close range. Kyle Thomas Walker, 31, was fatally shot at Valdosta, Georgia, Circle K, as he sat in his car. <laughs> hey Ag, funny that you're covering this, right? Mm -hmm. Long story short, I was listening to this one cuck radio host here, Ben Jarovsky, right? Mm -hmm. And this cuck was going on about how people kill within their own ethnic group, but when you kill out of your ethnic group, it's it's focused on and it's talked about and it's brought to the front and center. Ben, you cug, fuck you. Yeah, man. When you kill, um, when you kill white people, man, this guy was sitting in his car at the Circle K, and these two guys just came up and blew his brains out, man. Um, can you imagine <laughs> if it if it was reversed, Good Morning America would be on top of it. Let's they be would honest. be at Circle K live. Michael Strahan at Circle K, man. Um, thirty-three year old Nicole Coney. This is still January. You haven't even gotten to February yet. 33-year-old Nicole Coney was fatally shot in Ellisville, Mississippi, man. Oh, by her husband. Okay. That was her husband. Cole told. Um, Ada Ortiz and her one-year-old grandson, Sebastian Serrano Jr. So these are gliders with Hispanic surnames. 
Yeah. Killed by Gabrielle Cartagena, man. <clears throat> hey, Ag, with that son, man, with that glider from, from Ohio, what's the score? One to uh, 60? I mean, you also have the black girl in um in Milwaukee that got chopped up by that glider, so it's two. Two to 60. Yeah, well, I mean, more than 60. I mean, this is just this is 40 in, in 40 alone in um in January and another 40 in February. So it's yeah. it's 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 it's, it's, it's <laughs> we didn't then, even do March yet. The the numbers for March aren't in yet. And and, th- and this ain't even the uh the killing season yet. This ain't really even summer yet. Nah, man. Conrad Alexander. Whoa, <laughs> God, dog. Them pictures are these are some good pictures, man. They caught them in 3D. Damn, Conrad, <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, man? Um, this look like AI, man. You sure this ain't AI, man? They f- trying to frame these brothers up. Uh it's, it's really white guys wearing a black mask, you know. Yeah, yeah, man. Hey, Siri, uh show me a killer. Reports say Morris lived in with Holloway for several weeks but became agitated when asked to leave. So this guy let these let this let this brother live with him for a couple weeks, and then he this brother got agitated when he was asked to leave. So you know, when you're asked to leave somewhere, um, you just kill the person and then they guarantee you have a place to stay. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that, man! I I don't need a place. I don't even need your fucking house anymore. I'm I got. I'm gonna find me a place to stay. Watch this. Yo, the the son that handles one problem at a time, right? <laughs> <laughs> We're resourceful, man. Um, reports say Morris lived with Holloway for several weeks but became agitated when asked to leave. Family members heard gunshots outside their home and later found the victim dead in his bedroom. It is believed that he was shot through a window. Um, Morris was recently arrested on charges of lewd and lascivious battery on a minor in an unrelated case. <laughs> um. But but you I, but I guarantee you still have some clown out there yelling free him free my dog. Oh yeah, <laughs> Douglas C. Atkins was fatally shot near his home in Canton, Ohio. Man, arrested was Chabi Chabriwana Glenn, age twenty eight. Um, the media failed to report the motive or detailed backstory relating to the incident. Other than note that nunchucks made from two wrenches were found near the crime scene. Believes that his father felt threatened on the day he was shot at his home near 18th Street and Cleveland Avenue. He said the tools that police found near him on December 1st were homemade nunchucks fashioned from two wrenches that were tied together. Um, 18-month-old Iris Rita Alfara from Newcastle, Pennsylvania. She was killed by Alicia Owens. She a mulatto, though, right? What do you think? No. Yeah. So she she said the little girl had been fed water beads and button shaped batteries and me- and a metal screw. So she what a terrible way to kill a baby. Um. 51-year-old Scotty Jackson was beaten to death with firewood in Fort Worth, Texas. I think we did this one. Yeah, yeah, the African oh, guy. Yeah. By, by, by the naked son, man? Yeah, he was naked when he did it. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly. Um, that's a hell of a way to go, right? Yeah, and the other white guy ran in the house and just watched through the window. Right. Texas strong. Yeah. <laughs> Don't mess with Texas. Dude, I'm telling you, like these indigenous sun men, like they're they're built different. They are built different, man. Well, well, think, well, think about it, man. If you go out drinking shit water, you tough. You're surviving. Yeah, exactly, man. Um, 18 year old Christian Peterson was fatally shot in Jacksonville, North Carolina, by yikes, Wally Shamir Johnson. 
is in custody and charged with one open count of murder. Ugh. Drug a drug deal turned robbery. Okay, so yeah, you tried to buy some weed from a son, man. <laughs> mm. Yeah, man. I I've been telling y'all just be just don't do it. Ninety percent of the time nothing's don't gonna happen. Ninety percent of the time nothing's gonna happen. I mean, I, I bought weed from Sub Men hundreds of times. Nothing's happened. But when you're a glider, it's just like you know what I mean. It's just like they see you kind of like you know they like you know you they see like a sheep. They, they can't help it. <laughs> like, like they're like, like oh look at this white guy. Like they didn't wake up that day thinking they're gonna rob a white person. But when the glider presents himself as you know a nice little sheep or a deer, yeah. then a Sub Man just can't help it. Like a cute little yeah, kitten, man. you know, with like the with the net with the net ball. A cute little yeah. kid, you know, very, very cute, very harmless. <laughs> yeah, man. Salute to Deluxe Two Four Seven, aka Coward, aka the real MVP, coming through once again, man. Um, but 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 you know what's the crazy part? Of that? Well, one of the crazy parts, we could show everything that you've shown to a hotel, right? And right. they would still their mind gymnastics would still go to some incredible. It ain't argument. gotta be a hotel. It ain't even gotta be a hotel, man. You right, can show right. oh, this yeah, shit to any black person, man. It, it, it'll go to some kind of argument of like, well, yeah, you know, instantly though. Too. Yeah. One thing well, about yeah. black people, they they never they never say, "Oh, damn, that's fucked up. This is a tragedy," and blase, blase, blah. They instantly go to blase, blase, blah. Yeah, <laughs> they don't yeah, even the, acknowledge it. <laughs> yeah. The the. The usual progression of the argument is them trying to prove white people do it too. Then you prove not to the same rate. It just keeps going back until we just get the slavery and, yeah, and yeah. everything's the fault of slavery. And mind you, mind <laughs> and mind you, if the roles were reversed, if we showed them uh, you know, these stories, but the roles were reversed, it would instantly be well, you know, I don't gotta tell you. Racism, man. Um Richard Wilder, forty three, died in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, arrested in charge of criminal homicide was Corey Frazier, man. Reports say Frazier shot at Wilder while the victim was driving a pickup truck that crashed in a ditch and pole before stopping in a parking lot. Reports did not clarify if Wilder died from his gunshot injuries, crash injuries, or both. Um, 20-year-old Mac Lewis was found fatally shot in the car in East Nashville. On Christmas Eve, Jamarius Rhodes, 19, was arrested for murder. Um, robbery was a possible motive. Okay, yeah. Um, 73-year-old Barry DeLuise, D. Edie, was fatally shot after being raped in Forest, Mississippi. Um, her remains were allegedly burned. Um... Sammy Patrick is alleged to have broken into the victim's home where he committed the crime. She was in the house chilling, man, knit, knitting or something, doing what grandmas do. This fool breaks in, rapes her, and burns her body. Yeah, she got the you saw that. <laughs> you saw that, right? Didn't you see that on Rashad Richie? As many of y'all saw that on Rashad Richie. I'm reporting. I'm doubling up with the reporting, man. <laughs> Let's be honest, man. She was probably... Yelling a uh, song word repeatedly before he got in. Yeah, yeah, man. That's that. That's probably what she did because she's from that era. She's seventy three, so she's from that era. She's from those old racist days, man. So she probably did see him walking past the house, yelled the sun word, and of course he had to go in there and straighten it out. You know, back in she, her day, they used to stone the sun, man. Throw stones yeah. at him. Yeah, she probably lit the sun, man. Yeah, strange fruit and shit. Look at this glider, man. You know he thought he was badass, man. Mm. Show <laughs> over. He did some time too. You know Sean did some time with all these face tattoos. <laughs> yeah. Like man, the sun, the sun man probably did us a favor with this one. I don't know. You know, in the joint, man, white boys don't take no shit from the sun, man. But yeah, that's true, man. But on the street, man, <laughs> street is a whole different ball game. Um. Pepperwood, um, <laughs> he got uh, killed by uh -oh. Gabriel Hosen. 
He said, uh, no, no backstory. Uh, he said, gunshot wound found in the doorway. Okay. Um, 34 year old Maria Rook fatally shot in front of her young daughter in Chicago. Kenneth Brown, 44, was charged with first degree murder. Um, Brown was described as Roke's former boyfriend and the father of her two children. This chick was fucking this guy, man. Um, order protection. It had order protection, man. Uh, you know how that goes. Mm -hmm. um, Taza Amethyst Hosey, 30, died after being shot multiple times near McGee, Mississippi. Uh -oh. Can Darius Marquis Dampier? <laughs> mm. Yo, fun fact, I, that's how I have my hair exactly highlighted on. Yeah, man. I mean, <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, I'm I'm sure that this looks like a, this looks like the cold toll, man. Uh, let's see. Hosey was found the day she reported missing by her father. She was found dead. Uh, yeah, she was in a relationship, yeah. Patricia Kathleen Beglin was fatally shot in Woodbridge, Virginia. Police identified Karen Nicole Pollard. Those damn Karens. <laughs> the female of the species. The, 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 the shooting stemmed from an earlier argument over fentanyl pills. Um, we got 300 in the building. I'm sure we can get some people to take the five dollar challenge 300 in the building on a at 1 30 in the morning giving you content you can't get anywhere else we can certainly get some new people to take the five dollar challenge to help support the channel so we can continue to bring you brown breaking content like this or you can just go to another channel and get this content yeah, I'm I'm sure their favorite creator is speaking about these cases, you know, or some cases. I don't know. Yeah, I'm sure they are, man. We all know that, man. We all know that. We all watch the same people, man. You know that. Yeah, um, but, but for for some reason, it's so hard for this one particular channel to increase its uh, membership and subscriptions. I wonder why. If we're all doing the same thing here. <laughs> Yeah, man. Um, well, I, I need a lava lamp. I need a lava lamp and, and a tapestry yeah. behind me. That's gonna fix it. Well, maybe, uh, maybe if Ock just put on like a mask of Brandon Tatum, then you'd have like two million subs tomorrow, covering the same stuff, of course. But you know, Tatum. Yeah, man. Shout out to Brandon Tatum, though, man. He's doing what he's <laughs> doing, man. Like every, everybody can't do everything, man. Like they doing what they doing, and um, it, it resonates with the people. This don't resonate with the people as much, but everybody. Oh, but if you talk to people, like, why does nobody cover this? You notice that nobody yeah. ever covers this, and then when you cover it, <laughs> no support. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's crazy, crazy man. Um, real. Nobody oh, yeah. ever covers this stuff, man. <laughs> Nobody me, me, ever covers this, man. All they talk about is black guys getting killed by white officers, man. No one ever covers the other side. <laughs> Maybe you need a cool slogan. Not like when you start, just come out saying, let's buggy or something. I don't know. Yeah, let's buggy. I like that. Let's buggy, man. Let's buggy. 58-year-old Herman Lavia Leva was stabbed and bludgeoned to death in Fairfax County. His... 25-year-old attacker, Bazin Berry. Oh, he ain't FBA, though, man. This one is this a, this a tether, man. This guy's tether. from, like, Canada. Look, Ethiopia. Yeah. This tether guy's from Canada. Tether killed the white guy, man. Making, he making FBAs look bad, man. He look Ethiopian. Yeah, he you remember that, uh, that, that Canadian joker? This, is, this dude right here is the type of dude living on either side of that fucking joker. Yeah, shout out. Salute to um Steve, man. Almost five dollar challenge, man. Shout out to Steve, man. Velocity says, thanks, Ock and company, letting us know we're not crazy. Oh, you not crazy, man. This is this is still we ain't even made it through January yet. Right. <laughs> Yo, I, you man, not... <laughs> this summer right here, right? 
the the sun man would say, "Oh, he a booty scratcher. Look at his hairline." I've heard that a lot. He's like, look at his hairline. He's a booty scratcher, a tether. Fuck out of here. Look Sorry. at this though. Um, he killed the guy. Um, the white guy was was the, was the custodian at Target, and this Somalian guy was a co-worker at Target. And he killed the white guy because he was allegedly stealing food from the office refrigerator. Wow. So these are the white on blacks. Now let's go to the white on blacks for um that month, okay? So 31-year-old yeah. Shaquille Phillips was fatally stabbed in Bloomington, Indiana by Craig Pearson. Damn. 42. Pearson reportedly appointed himself as an enforcer in a homeless camp. Phillips was accused of stealing from residents' tents and selling the stolen items. Um, so this guy was, he had, uh, he was, he was um, the enforcer at the homeless encampment, man. He, vigilante, man. White people think they can just vigilante and do this stuff and then, da, 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 just like the old white man. White vigilante. Um, this guy. Uh, let's see. Uh, um, Amir Joliff, eleven, was fatally shot during a school shooting in Iowa. Suspect Dylan Butler, who had reportedly been bullied since elementary school, killed himself after the shooting spree. Okay. 39-year-old Marvin Reed was fatally shot in Huma, Louisiana sports bar. Christopher Bootswell is accused of shooting Reed and booked into jail on account of second-degree murder. 21-year-old Damilan Monroe was fatally shot in Clemens, North Carolina. Wiley, yes, Cavage, and Alexandra Patton were arrested. Rashawn Reeves Lindley was shot in Anderson, Indiana. 19-year-old Isaiah Crawford and Kirsten Walker were arrested. And that's it. So that's um that's the um black and white ones for the month. Okay. So we got, I think, five. How many black on how many white on blacks we had? We had like, I think six. How many white on blacks? One, two, three, four, five. We had five, and we had forty-one white on on black on whites. <laughs> so forty-one to five in um in January, man. Um, forty-one to five in January. Let's see what let's see what February, what the school in February looking like, man. Um. What's the school in February, man? Um, <clears throat> gangsta out here, man. Oh, 39. So there was 39 in February in February. Let's see. Uh let's go through this, man. Um Brianna. In Higgins, look at that beautiful white girl. Was fatally shot in Olith, Kansas. Devon Washington, seventeen, was arrested and charged with second degree murder. There's no picture of Devon D. Washington. Few details were provided. However, an application by Washington's attorney for bail was re rejected. Not because there was a prima facie case that he'd killed a 15-year-old white girl, but because the state felt his gun was particularly dangerous, possibly with an extended magazine. So he killed this 15-year-old white girl, man. Mm. So she was murdered by this. She got killed by that. Um, It was an accident. Okay, they said it wasn't on purpose. It was an accident. Prosecutors do not allege that Washington intentionally injured anyone, suggesting that the killing was an accident. But they did say he 
presents an ongoing threat to the community, perhaps because of his type of gun is often used by gangs. Okay. Oopsie. Just an accident. <laughs> Oops. Um, let's see. Damn. Rough. February getting off to a rough start. Um, yikes. Um, 14-year-old Laura... Laura, Laura Lyle, Laura Lee Sterling was fatally shot in Lima, Ohio by 18-year-old Malik Dennis. The victim's body was discovered in the resident. Following his arrest, Dennis confessed to shooting Sterling. Dennis apparently knew Sterling socially. Additionally, investigators suspect he had been robbed by other juveniles at her house and returned with a gun. Detective Jersey Harrod of the Lima Police Department provided insights into the events surrounding Sterling's alleged murder. He admitted to firing a shot inside the house after climbing on the antenna, firing a shot through the window. Detective Harrod stated there was one hole through the window she was shot one time. Okay. 30-year-old Michael Kasariach. Michael Kasariach. Boardman, Ohio. He was killed by Jerome Tubbs. Boardman was once a bucolic community in eastern Ohio. However, the clouds of urban savagery have begun to darken the community. Um, Cosarge was found in a parking lot. Okay. 69-year-old Richard Yarborough was fatally shot in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Matthias Matthew Bagby. 45 is charged with first-degree murder, attempted first-degree murder, assault with a deadly weapon, with intent to kill, breaking and entering, with intent to terrorize. Reports say shots were still being fired when police arrived. <laughs> Bagby was subdued after a foot chase. Neighbors say a tenant fearing eviction shot his landlord. <laughs> Glider, I don't need you. I don't need you. I don't need you, your place to stay no more. I'm going to find me a new place to stay. <laughs> man, sons and their resourcefulness, man. Um, Deanna Kathleen Doley was fatally shot at an apartment complex she managed in Brooklyn Park, Minnesota. John James Allen, the dude, the second was arrested. Reports say the shooter had been in an argument with his visiting father before appearing in the building's office where he opened fire. Doley reportedly dialed 911 before being shot. The gunfire can be heard on a recording call. Moments later, the dude went to the fifth floor where his apartment is located and fired into the door of an elderly neighbor's home. She wasn't injured. So he, uh, um, in an interview with police, Nadu said he just lost it after getting into a fight with his father, saying his dad hit him and he hit his father back. <laughs> yeah, man, your dad hit you, man. You get in a fight with your dad, so you go downstairs and you execute the <laughs> property manager. Makes sense, right, guys? I mean, perfectly logical to me, man. If I ever got in a fight with my dad, I would have definitely executed the property manager, man. Um, yeah, see, that's like why redlining existed, that type <laughs> of shit. It's just like basically every quote unquote bigoted law was really just a reaction to like the sun savagery, essentially. 
for the most part. Yeah, man. I mean, but it does make sense if you think about it. Like, think about it. Like, right? You get in a fight with your dad. And the only way to, like, you know, square that is to go shoot the property kill, manager. Yeah, kill a, kill a white lady. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, that's the thing. Like in the sun mine, there are no rules, right? It's just like the the only one rule is there is no rules. Yeah, man. Um, a seventy three year old Catherine Bland was fatally stabbed in her home. Mary Catherine Bland was fatally stabbed twenty five times. And her 17-year-old granddaughter suffered non-life-threatening injuries. Reports say Spencer is the ex-boyfriend of Bland's 70, 17-year-old granddaughter. So this white woman just had a had a um, granddaughter that was a 17-year-old granddaughter that was dating a 24-year-old son man who looks like he's 40. Yeah, but if you say anything, it's racist. Can't, can't yeah, point did. out why that might be problematic because it's racism. If she had objected. Could you imagine she had objected to the relationship? <clears throat> oh, man, he's racist, man. They don't want us around. Her grandmother don't like me because I'm black. <laughs> Not because you're 24 and she's 17. <laughs> Not because you're a homicidal maniac. It's so. Only reason grandma don't like you is because you're black. And here's the thing. Grandma probably treated him like a saint. She probably treated him very well. Yeah, I mean, she's terrified of him. So, she, of course, you know she did. You know she did, for sure. Curtis Kurt Strom, 77, and William Will Raffitt, 49, were fatally shot at a bowling alley. Owned by Strom and Bloomfield. So this guy got shot at his own bowling alley. Um, (laughs) 25-year-old Alias Reed was arrested on suspicion of two counts of first-degree murder and robbery. No motive is reported. One thing I'm noticing here, okay, you know all that, like, bullshit about, oh, black men are only dangerous from the ages of 16 to 30. Like, not according to what we're seeing here. I'm seeing, like, literally every age cohort possible in the Sun Man here. That is just killing, just killing whatever it sees. Well, in his defense, he probably didn't get the turkey. So, hmm. he had he had to kill him because the pins were fucked up. And... Yo, everybody, black people are mad that that 81-year-old white guy shot that black woman Uber driver. Man, look how many... Elderly fucking white people have gotten whacked this year so far. Ralph Hedry, 66, and his wife, Kathy Brandle, 71. Oh, yeah, they were killed in Grenada. Remember this? They, they, yeah, yeah, this, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, yeah. That was, Damn. That's Grenada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're Americans, I guess. So, yeah, they, they were killed in Grenada. They won, yeah. Um, these three officers um, in um, Burnsville, well, two officers and an EMT were, were were killed by this guy. Remember, <laughs> he lowered them to the house and then opened fire on them. He did this story. Um, Joseph Aponte, fifty six, was killed in a crash in Sugarland, Texas. Overith Riascos Barahana, 40, was arrested. Barahana was charged with murder following a police chase that ended in a fatal car crash. Oh, okay, so he killed him with his car. He was running from the police, and he ran into this glider who just happened to be sharing the road with him. Yes, sons are dangerous behind a the wheel. They, <laughs> they go fucking off. They are dangerous, man. Man. Yikes, man. Um, I 
Fifty-five year old Alex Stengel was fatally shot at a Pizza Hut restaurant he managed. A thirty one year old Kayvon Ingram. Authorities allege that Ingram, who worked at the restaurant, killed Stengel on February fifth after Stengel has cashed a seven thousand inheritance check and shown co workers the money. So this guy got his inheritance check and was showing the co-workers the money. Kayvon, who also worked there, was like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, man. You can't help it. It's like when the like the glider serves himself to the Sun Man on a silver platter, and then yeah. we wonder why this happens. It's like, come on. Uh, that's true, man. Like, this one right here could have been avoided. A lot of these could have been avoided, but this one right here, like, you, you, you got a $7,000 check in. And you're running around your job bragging about it in, yeah. in Milwaukee with, with sun people. Yo, no, that, like, they you, you can't just very like. Very important lesson that day. Yeah, a very important lesson was learned that day. Like, even around other gliders, this is stupid. But no, nah, you can't just be like waving money around a proto human like that. It's just, nah, come on now. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let, me, let me slow that down, what you just said. You're telling me if I'm around other gliders, right? Like, just regular Joe gliders, right? Yeah. That work. Like, around this guy. Job. like, around this guy right here, for example, on the screen. If I said, I, 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 I bright that had five stacks on me, I got to worry about this guy? I don't know about that, dude. Like, okay, but at the very least, you, you would understand it would not be a wise decision. Might not end up with you no, being murdered, no. though. You're right. You're right. <laughs> but I just can't. I'll give you on burritos. You can't do that shit around on burritos, but maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe the Peckerwoods. Maybe you don't cut your money on the Peckerwoods, right? The crazy part is that he's the he's a co-worker. Like, he may have thought, okay, I've got rapport with these people on my job, maybe. I cause I'm sure that they had like a a, a a pretty good relationship. I mean, it's you know, even though manager employee relations with sons is kind of difficult sometimes, but let's just say they had just a regular manager. Hey, Bill, blah, blah, blah. hey, uh, hey, hey, Kayvon, how you doing? Um, I need you to uh, get back there in the kitchen and um get started on uh, such and such, such, such. And he's like, okay, 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 um, okay, Alex. Um, uh, I, I need some extra hours. Um, I got my, my daughter's I birthday's to, coming I up. I need to get here on time, all right, Jayvon? <laughs> yeah. Kayvon, you've been late um, three times this week. Um, uh, oh, yeah, see what happened was, you know, da, da, da. all right, don't worry about it, Kayvon. Just get, get, get to work. Um, get started. Um, you know, that type of relationship. Yeah, and Kayvon found out. Kayvon killed his ass. Um, and they it threw his body in the dumpster outside of the Pizza Hut. But I'm sure it wasn't I mean, personal. I, I'm sure it wasn't personal. Let's be, let's be honest. I mean, Yo. like the, the, the thing is that the gliders, like, trick themselves into thinking the sons see them as a friend now or that, like, they're going to trick the sun into thinking like, oh, I'm one of the good gliders. I can even say the sun word. It's like, no, he, no, man. Yeah, but here's the thing, though. They probably would have been friends for eight. They could have been friends for the next 30 years if he had never told him he had a $7,000 check. Yeah, no, you're right. That's what I'm saying. Like, it, 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 this, like this opportunity, it wasn't on the son's mind. But if you if you just hand it to him, then you you can't be upset if he's going to act like a son. Like you just that's what gliders don't understand, right? He killed this guy at the Pizza Hut and threw his body in the yeah. dumpster behind the Pizza Hut. Yeah, and like, up until that it, point, it, he was having an awesome day. <laughs> This wasn't Ocean Eleven, like he followed the guy home, you know what I'm saying? Tailed him home or tailed him to the he killed him at the Pizza Hut, took the check and dumped his body in the dumpster behind the Pizza Hut. Yeah, man. He wasn't thinking about it. It just it just kinda happened. 
like up until this moment he got out of bed on the right side he like he got to work happy and cheerful and then he's like oh shit this glider's throwing money around let's kill him and then yeah <sighs> wow Marianne Weiss and Shannon Lassier, 58, died by multiple sharp force injuries in Indianapolis. Indianapolis, Indianapolis hasn't been too good to you gliders, man. Like, God damn, especially you gliders women, man. America. Uh, David Henner, 30, was charged with two counts of murder. Both victims were stabbed to death days apart and found near each other in the city's east side. Surveillance footage and forensic evidence played key roles in identifying and apprehending the suspect. No motive is given. It is unknown if Lassier knew Weiss, um, knew him. Weiss apparently did. Oh, so one of these girls knew him. The other one, they don't know if they knew. Samuel Knopp, 24 and Sealy Rain Montgomery were fatally shot on the University of Colorado campus in Colorado Springs. <laughs> God damn. Nicholas Joy. It's like, um, yo, a proto-human. <laughs> like, it's just not even real. It's just, like, unbelievable almost. Knopf and Jordan were roommates at the university. Okay, so this guy was, this, this guy was the white kid's roommate. Um, Didn't we cover this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Montgomery was not enrolled as a student. The victims were discovered in Crestone House, a dorm on campus following the report of a shooting. Okay, so yeah. Um, Man, that guy got a roommate. <laughs> it was a root? What the fuck? Yeah, he... he, he, he yo. <laughs> yo. <laughs> That's terrifying. That's literally yeah, terrifying. Yeah, but it's like, who the fuck would... I don't know, man. It was just probably brainwashed. And if you say shit about it, now you're the bad guy. Like, that's like a terrifying situation to be in. Well, the school gives you your roommate, like, your freshman year. I don't know. Sometimes they, they assign you your roommate. You don't yeah, but it said he wasn't enrolled in the school, so it had to be private. Off no, the end. girl the girl wasn't oh. enrolled. The girl that got killed. Because the white girl got – he killed the white girl, too. I don't know who this white girl was, whether she was – um this white girl right here, she was, she was just there. And it was like, okay, I got to kill you too. Uh, I don't know. But um, anyway, but yeah, anyway, man, um, Lisa Lopez Galvan, she was shot near the Super Bowl parade. Okay, this one was killed near the Super Bowl parade. I guess they're classifying her as a glider. I don't know about that one. Um, Jonathan Mock, 59, was fatally shot in San Bernardino County. Oh, yeah, remember this? Yeah, yeah, Sean yeah. T. yeah. <laughs> Mark was searching for an open parking spot in the Walmart. As he drove down an aisle, the female suspect was backing out of a parking spot. The two vehicles collided. When Mark got out of his car to apologize, <laughs> the suspect allegedly stepped out of her car and shot him in the face before driving off. Yeah, I mean, that's the female, bro. That's the female. <laughs> God I'm trying damn. to think how he could have avoided this, man. Like, um, there was no way. I mean, you got to talk <laughs> to the person that you hit. You know, it's a hit and run if you don't. Yeah, I mean, he basically approached the situation, you know, hoping she would act like a glider. Yeah, well, you me, know, me, me, we can't me. be prejudiced and shit. Maybe, maybe it was God's plan to have the assistant kill him you know yeah this is this is worse than that uber one the uber driver the 81 year old man killed the lady um uber driver over the scam this is worse man like you have a fender bender and then in the middle of a walmart parking lot yeah. i mean you know I've, I've i've been to walmart in the last couple of um weeks man like i just couldn't imagine Blowing somebody's brain out after an <laughs> accident, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, let alone just the normal Walmart parking lot, how bustling it is. But after an accident in a Walmart parking lot, you just blow somebody's brains out right yeah. there. 
I, I, I get what you're saying, Nag, but you got to understand, when you consider the whole history of this country, you know, it's true. these glider kings, they think they have dominion over black guys. Yeah. That's true. Great point, man. I wasn't, I, I, I didn't think about that. Sisters um, get mad quick, too. Like, they, they, they can't control themselves at all. Yeah, it's they're worse like, than everybody you know. fucking knows it too. Like literally every person in America knows that. They just won't say it. Yeah, they're worse than black men, sure. Yeah, because because they're they're allowed to pop off like black men, but then they're they still, you know, we're still not allowed to hit back because they're women, right? So it's almost like more dangerous in some contexts. Well, they don't carry firearms like black men, so that's that's Right. They carry right. firearms at a at like a almost none. I don't know any black women women that pack. So it's it's very rare that they carry firearms. So their their anger is doesn't end in fatalities. But <laughs> but, but, let, um, but let's be fair. We we've seen sisters fight. I, they could throw them bitches. Fuck yeah, yeah man. definitely. I, and and listen, if she didn't have her gun on him, her, her I'm sure she would have kicked that Gladys ass. Um, but um, <laughs> she had a gun on her. She happened to have a gun on her. Deputy Sheriff Greg McGowan, 43, was shot and killed while initiating a traffic stop in Maryville, Tennessee. <sighs> Kenneth Wayne DeHart, 42, uh, he described as armed and dangerous. Okay. 14 um, year old Coda Jarrett and his mom, Brooke Carnifix. 39 died from gunshot wounds in their St. Albans, West Virginia. The suspect, Marcus Duran Guy, was charged with two counts of murder. Um, Guy walked into the Charleston Police Department Wednesday and told the officer he had killed two of his girlfriend's relatives. According to a criminal complaint filed by the Kanawha County magistrate. Okay, he turned himself in. That was nice. Yeah, self snitching. Um, thirty-eight year old Christopher Ryan Martin was fatally shot at Chickasaw, Alabama Motel by Cornelius Lavette Smith, forty-eight. Martin was discovered deceased in the M Star Hotel room. Smith was apprehended at the Island View Casino in Gulfport, Mississippi. Um, Thomas. Phillips, North Little Rock, Arkansas. Damn, what did this guy to do, man? <laughs> Yikes. Um, police charged 19-year-old Robert Duncan Jr. with capital murder. The victim was pronounced dead at the scene. The suspect was apprehended and interviewed by detectives during which he admitted involvement in the shooting. Um... ArkansasOnline.com said the police reported the suspect fought with his victim over a girl in the past. So they were both dealing with the same girl. Yikes, man. Can you imagine being this glider and the girl you're dealing with, her her side piece is this guy? You got to yeah, leave her alone. <laughs> you got to leave her out. alone, man. Yeah. <laughs> she belongs to the streets. <laughs> yeah, man. Listen, gliders, man. Let me tell you something, gliders. Unless you're like a fucking Peckerwood or a goddamn um, in the mafia or something, if this is your girl's other guy or the other guy in her orbit, man, go and leave her alone, man. Yeah, come on, like, <laughs> just yeah, come on. She's I feel like you. like uh, <laughs> most most like uh, I feel like there's like an unspoken code that like all glider men have it's like yo if your if your girl has a black man or has in the past you just you gotta you know leave that one alone let that be the one that got away yeah salute to john so. griggs man john griggs taking the five dollar challenge man shout out to you john griggs man um this type of content is not doing so well we might not do this type of content anymore but salute to you john griggs and the uh, other Three or four people that took the five dollar challenge tonight, man. Um, but yeah, this if you're a glider, man, listen, man. If you're a glider, don't yeah, man. Like if you see a picture, she's like, Yeah, this is my ex-boyfriend. 
and you're like, oh, oh okay, oh wow, that's your ex boyfriend, or, or, or you know what I'm saying, like, <laughs> or, or or y'all break up, she, t- you know, so you break up for a while, and y'all get back together, and during the break, she was dealing with this guy. Yeah, man. Um, she's trying to tell you something. She's she's telling you to leave me alone. It's not you. It's me. <laughs> Yeah. We've grown apart. <laughs> well, well, wait, wait, wait. We've grown Elaborate apart, man. Someone, because I, I, I don't understand. Elaborate. <laughs> so is it, is it because of the violent tendencies or what exactly? It's just because, because of his hair texture. I was, look at his mm, hair texture, man. The hair texture. It's because yeah, of that man. ancient DNA. Yeah, you just man. can't fuck with it. <laughs> Salute to 30, 37-year-old Irvin Fedzik. Um, of Lawrenceville, Georgia. He was killed by Leroy Taylor. Fezjik's death resulted from an armed robbery at his family-owned bakery. As he stepped outside to walk to his car, he was confronted by a gunman. Even after complying with all of his demands, the (laughs) the son man, I mean the gunman, still decided to take his life. So yeah, man, this guy's you know they got a bakery, man. You know, family-owned bakery. Just walk with your car one night. Give me all your money, crown. Okay, here. Give me your cell phone. Okay, here. Give me your hat. Okay, here. Give me your belt. Okay, here. Give me everything else you got. Give me your car keys. Okay, here. All right. Um, bam. <laughs> It's uh, hey, like I, I think a lot of these men like have a genuine like therapeutic feeling killing these like hunting these gliders down. I really think that is part of this. That's what this is. Like how or else how do you explain just pushing some little fucking Asian lady into a subway car? Like it just doesn't make sense. I think it makes perfect sense. It makes sense. Predator. Can you, can you imagine though, Ike? Every when you describe, right? You comply in every which way. The gun, the sun man still guns you down, and you're lying there, confused. Like, why did he? Why did he? Why, is, why am I dying now? I complied. You remember the video last night where they the, the white guy was walking around Memphis, and he was interviewing that one white guy, and the white guy was like, "Man, what are you asking <laughs> me about crime? You, you racist or something?" <laughs> right, right. Imagine right. being that guy. Right. Yeah, this happens to you. Oh man, that that must be a hell of a moment. Can you imagine that? Like, yeah. like, like the uh, like the lights turn on and the light bulb turned on in his head, but it's too late. <laughs> it's too late, man. Um, Mason Brooks, master, twenty five. Police arrested twenty five year old Michael J. Williams. At the scene of the shooting, god damn. Um, the media failed to report a backstory or motive. I mean, obviously, this guy called this guy the n-word. I mean, that's obviously what happened, right? Um, well, right up on him and said, Hey, you goddamn sun turd, and you know, he had to shoot him. Um, Arlington police officer Darren McMichael died from a hit and run accident in. Arlington, Texas. Quintario Watson, a 26-year-old Mississippi man, was arrested. Um, McMichael, a 24-year veteran of the Arlington Police Department, was on police motorcycle um, on I-20 Dallas when traffic slowed down, causing him to bump into the car in front of him and fall off his motorcycle. He was then struck by SUV, which fled the scene. Um, okay. Um, Shannon Patricia Jugworth fatally shot during a Coon Rapids home invasion, as were her partner Mario Alberto Trejo Estrada. And son Jorge Alexander Reyes. Alonzo Pierre Mingo was charged with three counts of second degree murder with intent. Some multicultural murder. Mm. Uh, 
Cool Rapids police responded to a call reporting a disturbance at the home in, in Minneapolis around 12.30. Oh, Minneapolis? Oh, these people woke as shit. Upon arrival, they discovered three individuals dead. <laughs> Two young children were also found in the home during the shooting. Surveillance footage revealed a blue Nissan Altima parking in front of the house from which three suspects wearing UPS-style clothing emerged and entered the home. One suspect held a cardboard box. Inside the footage showed a suspect later identified as Mingo in a UPS-style uniform, holding a man at gunpoint and demanding money before leading him to a bedroom where a woman and two children were present. Mingo then inside um Mingo then shot the woman in the bedroom, causing the children to cry as they entered the room. UPS confirmed Mingo is a seasonal employee. Stayed his employee ended around mid January. So this guy in his work uniform with three other guys came into these people's home, executed three people in the work uniform. All caught on camera. <sighs> Too many black men in jail, man. Um, and we don't know why. Um, 34-year-old Olga Kirschenbaum and her boyfriend, Jason Jackson, were found fatally shot in their Brooklyn. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you glad as it's one thing to do in the street. You, you ain't safe in your own home. Um the incident is assumed to be a murder suicide. Okay, this is a murder suicide. Um, fire was covered near the deceased male. Okay, so he killed her and him. Okay, so this is the this is a murder suicide. Deputy Jeremy Malone, 44, was fatally shot in Loosedale, Mississippi. Suspect and habitual offender Ricky Powell, 43, is later shot and killed by police in the chase. William James Edward III, 45, was fatally shot in Santa Monica. Um, this is, he donned his kids in some Wu-Tang gear. Um, a woman named Kayla Delise Mackey was arrested. Mackey, who was, is reportedly homeless and wanted for armed robbery, has been charged with murder in connection to Edward's death. Edwards, a producer in the music industry, collaborated with such artists as Travis Scott and Little Cobain. His death has left a significant impact on his colleagues and friends in the rap community, as evidenced by Little Cobain's Instagram post mourning the loss of the family. So this guy was a record producer, man, and ran across this sister, man, and got his fucking wig split. Yeah, man. Like, I, I feel like this this ought to crush the debate between foundational black Americans or tethers or men and women. Like, we're seeing the full rainbow here. It doesn't matter if you're from Africa, from America, man, woman, what your age. Like, just the sun is out here hunting. Like, it just doesn't matter what type of sun. Jesus, man. That guy, think about how many dangerous people that guy was around being a record producer in the hip hop industry. Yeah, but he thought he had like protection, like he was down with the hood. So that was that's his demise. And he gets fucking whacked out by this chick, man. Yeah. This homeless black woman, a homeless black woman and a random interaction murked his ass. Like this guy, he probably was down, probably knew Wu Tang. He knew Travis, he produced Tra Travis Scott stuff, Little Cobain. He's a very popular artist, man. Yeah, but wow. like he, like you're, you're, you're right. But like he's a, but he, he allowed that to confuse himself into thinking that he was dealing with random black people, random strangers that were black. There's a or difference. Or maybe right? it was a random, and maybe she, you know, he just, maybe he didn't, he just crossed paths with her. He didn't have to be, um, you know, what I'm saying it didn't have to be like, oh, um. Hey, sister, I'm down with the No, he could have just like been in the same place as her and she tried to rob him. Because remember, right. she was already, she was already, um, what does it say? What does it say? She was, um, it says, Mackie, who was reportedly homeless and wanted for armed robbery. So she was already wanted for armed robbery. 
Yeah, yeah. Okay. So then, okay. So this is just your your average chimp out then. Nothing different then. Yeah, sister just murked his ass, man. Uh, maybe she was trying to rob him. I don't know. Maybe maybe they had a disagreement. You know, like like because like you can like have a slight dis. Do you know how many sunmen get murdered by the sunmen for stepping on somebody's shoes or looking at somebody, or you know, you know what I mean? Like little shit like that. It doesn't take a lot. It doesn't take like a big backstory to get killed. You know what I'm saying? Um, former Trump official Mike Gill. Yeah, th this guy right here. He used to be, he we, we did this one. Um, this guy was a former Trump official, man. He was killed in Washington, D.C. Um, by serial carjacker Artel Cunningham. Damn, that's a mini son, man. Yeah, man. Little guy, man. Damn. They called him a serial carjacker, man. <laughs> God damn, man. Um, police cornered him at about 4.30 a.m. Tuesday after his crime spree. And he also killed Alberto Vasquez. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, he killed, oh, okay. um, he killed another black guy that night during the carjacking, too. Um, so he, he killed two people. He, he, he killed two people during carjackings that night. Um, two separate people. <laughs> oh, this one, this one, the Australian one. Yeah, 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 yeah. This was hot a few weeks ago. Yeah, we did this. We did this one. Yeah, yeah we did this one. Yeah, yeah we God did damn, one. like these people are importing these people. Like you're literally like importing hell into your country. It's just fucking, it just, it's just ridiculous, man. Let's do um the black or whites, man. Didn't Australia uh, stop the boats though? I think they stopped that. But they're still, but they're still doing legal immigration. So the, the you know, there's just uh, yeah. regression to the mean. So the the effect in the end will be the same, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, there's too many of them there to to stop it now. Um, yeah, we we've like, debunked the whole legal versus illegal. It's the same bullshit at the end of the day. Exactly. Um, exactly. That, that's true. Like you're not getting a different person, but also like it comes a point where you let too many in. Like let's let's stop acting like. Oh, okay. We're just gonna stop letting them in now, and the problem solved. No, you've let too many in. It's right. It, yeah, they got a colony no there. Yeah. Um. Not Jimmy Stewart. You gotta send me that, that that whatever video it is. I'm not. I don't. I don't. I don't think they have a channel on um on YouTube. Um. Whatever. Um. W I N C News. Cape Coral. Cape Corral, Florida. I'm not seeing their um I'm not seeing their um news station, man. Um, but yeah, uh but yeah, you can you can tell me what the video is, man. Um damn, Cape Corral is a lot of shit going on. Yikes. Um yikes. Um salute to Khalilil. Buckner, he was killed. So the brothers, so now we into the the brothers getting killed by Whitey. Um Cameron Snyder reportedly shot him from a car. Wow. Siblings Major Lacey Robinson, five, and Maya Lacey Robinson, eight, were fatally shot by their mom. Okay, yeah, we, uh, we saw that one. Aaron Russell, 29, was shot in the Knoxville, Tennessee by a former employee. Daniel Scott Arwood, 38. He had been reportedly living in the building. Um, and that's it. <laughs> so three. So 39 to three for February and 41 to five for january yeah those uh those numbers seem a bit <laughs> off <laughs> uh salute to jerry judge hines man he said five dollar challenge late to the party today question who can make a guess at what percentage of sun folks are in fact psychopaths make a poll also up yeah we'll do that poll tomorrow man um what i, I think 30 percent. yeah yeah definitely easily easily 30 because 
Yeah. I don't think you have to kill anybody to be a psychopath because exactly. exactly. There's so many, there's so many other ways to express your psychopathy. Psychopathy yeah. isn't always expressed by actually killing somebody. And there's a whole bunch of um institutions, and there's so much in America that prevents you from killing. Like, like if these if sons were in the wild, but it's in the savannah. They would behave differently than they would in a concrete jungle with cameras everywhere and cops. Yeah, everywhere. I mean, you get yeah, like when you look at the sun, be, the totality of the sun behavior of today. Keep in mind that's under being impressed upon by white society twenty four seven to conform to like you know a European standard of living. So just imagine without any white people, that's why you get Haiti because that's just the natural order. Yeah, it, it's almost like if they were left alone, they would um, capture each other and sell each other into slavery. Yep. Well, think about the kid yesterday. I, when he said that, he thought it was funny when he saw someone die in front of him. Right. Yeah. He, and yeah, and yeah. he didn't. He didn't find it. Um, any. He, he didn't mind telling someone who he just met on camera that it wasn't like it wasn't like this was therapy. You know, we 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 um saw inside of his therapy session. He told that to someone he just met on camera, like bragging about it too. <laughs> like so that's just like... straight DNA. You can't fix that shit. <laughs> that's just a straight yeah. line from Africa <laughs> to here. It's just that's A to B, straight line. Yeah, man. Um... Salute. Great show, man. Um, make sure you share this one, man. This is the only one like this. You got to share this one. If you want to share anyone, share this one. Same Black Town. Same Black Channel. Oh, out of here. Peace. All right, Black